to smart sessions by smart interviews. In this video, we are going to discuss a problem called remove duplicates from sorted list from LeetCode. You can find the problem link in the description below. I highly recommend you to pause the video over here, open the problem statement, go through it, understand it thoroughly and see if you can come up with the approach on your own. Okay, let's get started. So the problem says that you are given the head of a sorted link list. You have to delete all nodes that have duplicate numbers, leaving only distinct numbers from the original list. Also, you have to return the link list sorted as well. If you look at the first example, the number 3 is repeated twice and the number 4 is also repeated twice. So these two numbers should be removed from the list, leaving us the numbers 1, 2 and 5. Similarly, if you look at the second example, in the given linked list, the number 1 is repeated 3 times, so it's a repeated number, so it should be removed, so only 2 and 3 should be remaining. Hence, the output is the linked list 2 and 3. Let's try to understand the problem statement better. Say for example, you are given this linked list in the input. If you observe here, 5 is repeated multiple times. Similarly, 10 is repeated multiple times as well as 12 is repeated multiple times. So 5, 10 and 12 should be deleted from the output. The remaining nodes 2, 8, 15 and 18 should remain. If you try to build a logic for this, what you can do is you can start with a node and you can iterate and count how many times the node is repeated. So if you see 2 is repeated only once, if you do that for 5, you can iterate and count and see that 5 is repeated twice. Since 5 is repeated twice, you should not keep it in the output. In a lot of problems on linked list, it becomes easier for us to implement the code if we start with an empty node. Generally this node is called dummy node. Let's say we are denoting this node by the variable d. It's nothing but an empty node with some random data, doesn't matter. And the next of this node is linked to null. So once we have the dummy node, which is represented by d, let's try to iterate on the given linked list. So we'll start our iteration from here. We'll iterate and see that 2 is repeated only once. So the count is just one. Since the count is one, it should be a part of the output link list. So what we'll do is we will link the dummy node to the node 2. So dummy dot next will become the node 2. We should move D forward because the next node should be appended to D and we'll also make D dot next as null. We do not know how many more nodes will come in the linked list, so it's important to make the last node next point to null. Again, we start iterating on the original linked list. We'll iterate from here to here. The moment we reach here, we see that this is not equal to 5. So the count of 5 came out to be 2. Since it came out to be 2, we'll not add it to the linked list and we'll continue iterating. 8 we got 8, so we will store this node value in a variable and we will continue checking how many times that is repeated. The moment we reach here, we know that this is repeated only once. So the count for this is once. Since the count is 1, we will append it to the output link list. How do we do that? Same thing as the last time, we will make d dot next as 8 we will move d forward so d equal to d dot next and d dot next will be linked to null so if you look at it closely the code is something like d dot next equal to the current node we'll move d forward so d equal to d dot next and we also make d dot next as null
every time we find a node which is repeated only once we will run this piece of the code again we will continue so this is the head of the current linked list we continue from here we try to see how many times 10 is repeated the moment we reach here we stop our iteration and we will see that the count became 4 since the count became 4 we will not add it to the output link list we continue 12 repeat it thrice we don't add it 15 repeat it once the count is 1 so we should be adding it to the link list one small thing to observe here is that the head pointer has already moved to 18 but you need this node to append to the output link list so what you can do is we'll just go back one step so what you can do it when your head was here before moving the head forward you stored this node in a different variable say original and then you move the head forward to count the number of times 15 is repeated so we can see that 15 is repeated once since the count is 1 we will run this code that is d dot next will be now original as we stored the first node in the variable called original d equal to d dot next and d dot next equal to null if you try to modify the linked list 8 dot next will become 15 d will become d dot next which is 15 and d dot next will be null so that's how the logic will look like it's very simple and straightforward we we'll start with a dummy node we will iterate on the linked list for the current node we will count how many times it is repeated if it is repeated only once we add it to the output linked list while iterating on the original linked list we store the current node in a variable called original so that if it has to be appended to the output linked list we can append it easily I hope you are clear with the logic try to pause the video over here see if you understand the logic thoroughly and try to convert the logic into proper code as per your language of choice okay let's see how the code will look like if you look at this you are given a function called delete duplicates which accepts the head node of the linked list so as discussed we will start by creating a dummy node if you look at the constructor if you are invoking it with no parameter it will create a new node with the value as 0 and the next will be initialized to null so after this we will simply start iterating on the original load we will iterate until we reach null the current node say x will have to iterate on the linked list to count how many times that node is repeated so let us say we initialize the count to 0 and we'll iterate on the linked list until the head value matches with the original value if you remember the discussion you have to always store the current node in a variable called original so let's declare the original variable over here which will accept the current node until the node value matches we'll keep moving forward and we'll keep incrementing the count so head equal to head of next once this is done we will simply check if the count is 1 as discussed if the count is 1 we will append the original node to the output linked list the code for that will be d dot next d of next in c++ is equal to original d equal to d of next and d of next equal to null at the end what do we return if you observe the dummy node is not the right node to be returned because of two reasons first reason the dummy node does not contain any valid data second reason 
you are moving dummy node continuously till the end. So by the time the code is completed, the dummy node will not contain the right data. So at the beginning itself, we can create a temporary node and we can store dummy over there. And at the end, we can simply return temp of next. Temp of next will give you the first node after the dummy node, which is the valid node to be returned. Let's try to run the code and see if it works or not. So if you see, we got a runtime error. In line number 21, the error says that member access within null pointer of type list node. Let's look at line number 21. If you see over here, we are accessing head of value and matching with original value continuously without checking whether it's null or not. So one of the most common mistakes while writing code for linked list is before accessing a node, we have to ensure that the node is not null. So in this while condition, we should also check that head is not equal to null. And after that, we should match the value. That's the missing condition in the code. So if you see the code is working for the sample test cases, we can try to submit and see. So the code worked successfully for all the hidden test cases. If you are not comfortable with C++, you can write the same code in Java or Python. I'll just copy the code for reference. If you're comfortable with Java, you can just choose the language as Java and let us paste the same code. And let's see what all changes will be done for the language Java. So there is no pointer. So first thing we'll remove all the pointers. Secondly, we write null as this in Java. So this will also change everywhere. And thirdly, to access the node values, we use the dot operator. So even this will change to dot. Let's try to run and see. We missed that one place, line number 28. So as you can see, it's working fine in Java. You can submit and check as well. It worked completely fine in Java. Again, if you're not comfortable with C++ in Java, you can also do it in Python. Let's try to copy the code again. And let's go to Python. Let me paste the code in Python. So in Python, to declare a variable of the class, the code will look like this. And then you'll initialize temp to D. Firstly, let us remove all the semicolons. Also for block statements, we don't use brackets. This will change to this. These brackets will be gone and these brackets will be gone as well. Also, we write logical AND operator in this manner. And to increment C, we can use C equal to C plus 1. For null, we use none in Python. So let's make that change as well. Let us try to run the code and see. Even this should be removed. We should just initialize C equal to 0. Let's try to run. So if you see, we missed one change in line number 14. Original should be initialized to head. We don't need the data type. Again, the code is working as expected. We can submit and check. The code got accepted in Python as well. So in this problem, I hope you learned multiple different things. First thing, for a lot of problems on linked list, it's easier to convert the logic to code 
if you start with a dummy node it helps us manipulate the links in a much easier way secondly one of the common mistakes in problems for link list is that we should check if a node is null before accessing the node thank you for watching i hope you like the video please like share and subscribe for more such content